Hey friends, happy Wednesday to all of you out there. And thanks for hanging out again for some more drawing fun together here. So I hope you all had a nice weekend and I hope you all stayed safe and maybe had a little bit of fun with uh, friends and family uh, in the best way that you can these days, which is at a distance. Um, this is just the new norm and I think we're getting pretty good at it, you know? And we found lots of ways to still stay in touch with our family and our friends, you know, with Zoom calls and things like that as well as in our backyard, we get together and we'll have people sit, you know, a long distance apart in chairs and we all wear our masks and maybe five or six of us will just have a little chat for an hour in the fresh air. So, you know, you do what you can, right? Um, anyway, one of the best things you can do when you have time on your hands is do some drawing, right? And we're going to do that here today. Um, you know, I do sit around a lot and I think, gosh, uh, there are things I have to fill my time with and one thing I thought about doing was taking up meditation because, you know, it's better than sitting around and doing nothing, right? <laughs> Alrighty, how about we do some drawing? Okay, now, you are going to need to get for yourselves a pen, a pencil, a marker, a stick, any kind of drawing utensil that you can find around the house. Maybe you get a chopstick and you just dip it around in some mustard and uh, you can draw all over a piece of newspaper. You know what? I don't care. The thing is, you got to make some nice marks on something. And the draw along portion, which is the you draw it section of this show, is going to start right now. And um, so go and get this, get this, get your drawing stuff together. Is what I'm saying. So we can do it. Okay. I want to say hi to some folks in the chat. We'll see who's uh, here hanging out with us today. Alrighty, we have a Julia. Hello, Julia, fellow streamer. Nice to see you. Sam and Steven and Valder and Design219B. I wonder what your name is. <laughs> RB, we have um, Steve, nice to see you. And we also have Juan, hello Juan. Hey Jay, nice to see you all. Another, another Kyle in the house, hi Kyle. Uh, well, listen folks, it's time to get to some drawing. So we're gonna start with a you draw it. Now with you draw it, all you have to do is be able to do three kinds of lines, okay? They're very, very simple. You have to be able to do a straight line. Okay, I know you all can do that. A little zigzag. Okay. And also you have to be able to do a curvy line. All right. Now that could look like this. It could be a C curve. It could be an S curve this way. But you get the idea. Now to start this drawing, we're going to do a nice C curve that is shallow. Are you ready? Here it goes. C curve. See how shallow that C curve is? When I say shallow, I mean it's not this, it's that, okay? That's a shallow C curve. Now, if you've been uh, participating in this show before, you know all this terminology. Nothing new to you, right, gang? Um, okay, so let me just make sure that I've got my uh, cameras working here. It looks like I got a funny repeat for some reason of my screen and I can fix that I believe there we go can you see me now cuckoo alrighty now after you've done that shallow C curve we're gonna follow that up with a diagonal line that is roughly the same length as the C curve watch diagonal to about there All right, now if it's a little bit shorter or a little bit longer or the angle is slightly different, you don't have to worry about that at all. With all of the drawings that we do on this show, everyone's drawing is going to turn out slightly different from everyone else's, and yet it will still look good in the end. That's the cool thing about these drawings. Ready for another shallow C curve? We're going to reverse the direction this time, okay? So watch this. I'm going to follow along this same angle, but I'm going to throw a C curve in. Watch this. C and curve. Now look at that C curve. 
it's a little bit more curved at the top and then it kind of straightens out on the way down like that. Interesting. <laughs> you notice little things like that, right? It's pretty cool. Now, if you want a really shallow C curve, okay, check this out. I mean, you could even really just make this a straight line, frankly. Um, but I'm going to give it a tiny bit of a curve. So I'm going to look right here. All right, I'm going to come to about this point there. Okay, and watch this. I'm going to C curve, but look, look at that. That's the shallowest of C curves. So shallow. You know, it may as well be a straight line, but it's got a little bit of a curve to it. And I'm, I'm going to mirror that, or I'm rather going to echo that, pardon me, not mirror, because that would be different. Echo, or repeat that, okay, just right next to it here, watch this. Like so. Okay. Look, we're off to the races here, gang. All right, now, straight lines coming your way. How straight? Very straight. But if you don't make them perfectly straight, like I said before, it doesn't matter. We're gonna draw out this way. We're gonna leave a little space here, okay? And watch this, I'm gonna go out to the right, stop right about there, okay? And then right underneath this, okay, I'm gonna come out a little bit farther here, a little further to the right, and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go woo, out that way and it's just going to keep on going to about there and now here comes a little change in direction watch c curve on up like so now remember this line here pretend that it's passing behind these lines little space and then out okay and behind that one and then up like so. See that? Fancy. Uh, all right, I wonder if anybody has any guesses as to what this might be. Hmm. Hey, Ariana, thanks for joining us. You've been here before, nice to have you back. All right, now, straight line coming your way. Here it comes. Well, I lied, it's not perfectly straight. A Little bit of a curve to it, curve like so. That's pretty straight, but not totally. And then this one's straight. Straight. Okay. Now look at this angle here. All right. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to follow that angle and we're going to just carefully C curve up and out just slightly. Watch. Just like that. We're going to stop. Just stop right there. All right. Imagine a big stop sign. Let me make it a little further. There we go. Perfecto. Okay, and now I got to do a long straight line out this way. Now, what we often do in the show is we give ourselves a little point to aim for, right? So I can look over here and say, all right, I want to come out to about where? All right, now I'm going to look and I say, okay, this is the length of this section of the line that we just drew. Imagine I'm drawing that again. Okay, so it'd be about here. Okay, now I want to go a little farther out than that, so I'll just inch over to the left and say, mm, stop, right about there. That feels pretty good, all right? Now I want to connect to there, so I'm just going to go like this, straight on out to there. Does it have to be perfectly straight? No, again, I'm going to say that a lot. Does not have to be perfectly straight. Now this is going to be interesting. I'm going to do a C curve that is so shallow, ever so shallow. I'm going to stop about halfway right there. So see, I made myself another little target, okay? C curve down. And then another one to finish it out. And only this one's going to finish right on the edge of that line. Bam, like so. And then it's going to carry right over it with a little curve like that. Okay? And I'm going to connect with a tiny little line like so. That's it. Alrighty, now, are you ready for some, some more of that exact same action because we're going to echo that again, all right? Before we do, I want you to look at this space here and I want you to just do two things. Watch. One, two. Now those lines are not quite parallel. Look at the distance of those lines, okay? About the same width as here to here, right? See that? Da, 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 da. 
Now I'm going to echo it again. Here we go. Echo with these lines here, these bumpies. We're going to go one and then echo, okay, and echo, just like that, close together. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Watch this. We're going to cut out this way, out, and then we're going to come up about the same distance as that line, okay? But maybe a little further, watch. Up and out. See that tiny little curve at the end there? Tiny little curve, okay? And now we're gonna come back, back, just a tiny little bump there. And then we're gonna come up and around, up and around. Look at that. What do we have here, folks? We have a water skier, correcto mundo. All right, now I'm gonna look at this area here. I'm gonna say, okay, what's about halfway between here and here? Just gonna come up there. I'm gonna look at this little bump. And right there, I'm gonna put a little reverse C like that. And there you have an ear. What do we do with this area down here? Well, this is up to you. What kind of hair does this person have, if any? Right, I'm gonna do this. I like to do that. And I do it again. And I do it up here. And I do it again from here, right? And maybe a little line right there, and I can continue it there like it goes behind the ear. So fun. Little dot right there, and little line like that, and we have a happy person. See that? Happy person. Now, as usual, you customize this drawing, okay? So I'll show you the last little bit here. We're just gonna do a little circle and then a line and a line connecting to it, okay? And then we have one more line following that angle and then I just go dot, dot. What does that dot, dot show me? It shows me that that line will continue outside of the area of the composition here. And here's something fun, watch this. Swoop up and in and out and in Right? See that? Making some splashes, okay? And then here behind, we have the wiggly wake, okay, of this rider. And then splashy, splashy, splashy. Little splashes here off to the side, all right? There's your water skier. Now customize it. What do you want to do? Put, put something in the background. Could be a little beach scene, right? Could be some sky, some clouds. Take the uh, bathing suit, decorate it somehow, right? So I could do this. I could say, oh, this is going to be a nice striped bathing suit, right? How do you want to do it? You can cut, color it in solid. Doesn't matter. Do what you like. And that is the You Draw It portion of our show today. Da -da 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 -da. Slide her over there to the right. And it is now time for a who made that. So this is where I will reveal for you just a little section of a piece of art done by a fantastic artist. I always like to show you some of my favorite artists. And if anybody has any guesses as to who this person might be, well then great. I'd love to know what you think. Um, the uh, uh, Google had a little feature on this person not too long ago. I believe it was this week, in fact. Um, and so there's my little clue for you. In case anybody was paying attention to the Google Doodle this week that uh, was related to this artist, then guess what, gang? You're one step ahead of everybody else. So any guesses as to who this might be? Let's see here. I'm going to check out the chat first and see if we have any comments about our water skier. Uh, let's see here. Love the flowing hair. Well, thank you very much. Seagulls. Yes, that's a great idea. Throw some seagulls in there. Uh, brand new perm, says Clever. <laughs> For the, the hair that we drew there. Yeah, cool. Steve says it's the Salty Sea Captain. No, that Salty Sea Captain was not a famous artist that I know, but we do draw him a lot. A wartime sculptor. Holy cow, Timothy. Timothy Milliken. You are really onto something there. How about that? How about that? Well, yes, indeed, folks. Why don't we just reveal who this is? It is, in fact, Barbara Hepworth. 
an English sculptor, a British sculptor, who, yes, did a lot of uh, her work, her earlier work and her later work, her early work, pardon me, in, um, or rather the work that started to get her well known, uh, just around the time World War II was starting. Um, and uh, Barbara Hepworth, as you see here, you're wondering, well, why would I, why would I feature a sculptor? Because yes, Barbara Hepworth was a sculptor, first and foremost. Um, why would I be showing a sculptor's lithograph or drawing here? Well, because gang, most of the people I know who are sculptors, and I've yet to meet somebody in fact who is a sculptor who doesn't draw and draw quite well. Most of the time, the, a sculptor will work out a composition for a sculpture um, on paper. They will do drawings. And um, they also will draw simply because they're really good at understanding form and balance of shapes and things like that. Um, and so drawing can become a very integral part of their process as well as something they just do as another uh, art form. And Barbara Hepworth is no exception. And um, this uh, lithograph entitled Genesis from 1969 um, if you look at it, all right, first of all, very balanced, really great um, echo behind with the shapes right here, uh, but just a very balanced piece in terms of uh, the composition, the design of this piece. Wonderful, wonderful. But look at this. I want to show you something neat. Look at what we see at the top right here. What do we see? That is one of her sculptures, and she did many that had this sort of theme with a sort of an egg shape and then what, what could be interpreted as eyes. Uh, inside of it. Um, but this kind of form, this kind of shape uh, appears all the time in her work. And if you look at it, it's so similar to the drawings that she makes, right? This shape language that she's using is showing up both in three dimensions here in the sculpture, as well as in the drawings that she's doing. And isn't that cool? So I love to see these relationships between the two-dimensional and the three-dimensional that is still very clearly uh, showing us the vision that this artist had, right, for her work. And certainly worth mentioning that um, in a time when not a lot of women were, uh, it were having easy entry into the art world, uh, Barbara Hepworth really went for it, and uh, she was admitted to the Royal Academy of Art, um, the Royal College of Art, pardon me, in uh, London uh, when she was very young. And um, she went on to, to become friends with some of the, the best and most famous artists of the time when she went to France, artists like Picasso, for example, who you probably have heard of. Um, and she even helped to found a really cool uh, group of artists who got to all work in this one location in England called St. Ives um, in the, during World War II. And it was like an artist community. And it was one of the first that uh, was in England anyway, and uh, produced also some well-known well artists. But anyway, really neat person, really cool art. Thought you'd enjoy this. The other reason I wanted to show this is you don't have to draw with the idea that you're trying to make something representational, something that looks like something that we could all identify. Uh, drawing can just be a way for you to make marks and experiment with shape design and experiment with color. Um, and it's, it's so rewarding. It just feels so good to be creative and make something. All right. Well, that leads us now to, speaking of uh, creative and making something, it's time for me to make something that you suggest, which is the animal and activity game. Now, this is where you have to suggest an animal doing something funky, weird, strange, funny. And I will use the time that we have remaining, which is about six or seven minutes, to draw that for you. All right. What a challenge that is. Uh, but I'm up for it. And I'm going to be using my trusty light blue to do my sketch. And I will look for your suggestions in the chat and we'll see what we can do today. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that uh, little feature on Barbara um, Hepworth, quite, quite the sculptor, quite the, uh, the drafts person, I would say. All righty then, who do we have here? A centipede putting shoes on. <laughs> Wow, that might take a while. I like the idea, but maybe just one pair of shoes? We can think about that. A lemur roller skating. What do lemurs look like? I'm trying to picture a lemur in my mind. I keep thinking of a sloth for some reason. A bear selling ice cream. A bear? Steve, didn't you suggest a bear last time? A lemur juggling with its tail. Oh my goodness, we have two lemur suggestions and I don't even know how a lemur looks. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, let's see here. I'm going to have to think about this. I might have to look up a picture of a lemur. 
or I could do the centipede. But I got to tell you all, I don't know how to draw a lemur. I'm so I'm so embarrassed to say that. An alpaca packing from Machu Picchu. Listen to that. Try and say that three times fast. Okay. Yes, Juan, you're welcome. I'm glad uh, you discovered uh, the work of Barbara. She's great. All right. Camila Wanderlei. A capybara Barra doing self-care. <laughs> all right. I guess uh, I could be going to the spa. Unicorn eating a burger. Michaela, I hope I'm saying your name right. You win. Unicorn eating a burger it is. And here we go. So, this unicorn's going to be sitting there saying, oh man, I can't dig it. I can't wait to dig into this burger. And I, I just hope it wasn't a cow friend of mine. It's that terrible thing to say. Oh my gosh, Kyle, don't say stuff like that. Ready to just chop down on that burger. Let's see here. Whoop. Ooh, I can't wait. All right. You know what, gang? Maybe it's a veggie burger. We don't know, right? We don't know. Yummy, yummy burger. Okay, there we go. Gonna eat this burger. Okie dokie. Gonna, I'm gonna give this um, unicorn like hands, okay? Hope you don't mind. I know that's Super weird, but that's what's gonna happen. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. This is what I love about sketches. You can just, you can move things around. Look, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Make the arms a little longer. And I'm going to make sure that we have enough space there. So it's kind of close to the, the mouth, right? There. I don't know why I always want to put unicorns in ties. What is that about? Why do I do that? It just feels right. You know what, I'm gonna change it so that he's resting his elbow on the table there. Okay, give him a nice chair to sit in. Yay, there we go. All right, how's that looking? What do you think? That'll work, right? Let's knock that back a little bit, gang, and we'll just go right on top of that with a nice dark blue. And we say one and a two and a one and a two and then around we go. This is my favorite part because you just go for it. Okay, and then down and up and over. And there's that nice front part of the main Got a little unicorn horn sticking out there. Boop, 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 boop. And then one ear and the other ear. I'm changing the location of that ear. See that? I just think that looks better. Sketch is always a great thing to get you started, but don't feel like you have to commit 100%. To what you did in that sketch, no sorry, Bob. You can change it up, gang. Alrighty, there we go. One arm is coming back that way. One is coming here. And it's going to be resting comfortably there on the tabla. Okay. 
And here are those weird unicorn fingers, which of course, I guess unicorn wouldn't have, but this one does, whatever, it's fine. And there are the other fingers from the other side. Got some lettuce, got some burger, got some melted cheese, the bottom of the burger right there. Got some teeth. And there's that big old unicorn nostril like that. I love it. So excited about eating this yummy burger. Chair. And uh, yeah, can't wait to dig in on that. Look at that. Okay. Well, there you have it. Burger time for unicorn. Okay, burger time for our unicorn friend. And there you go. Voila. Thank you all for hanging out and doing some drawing with me. So much fun to do this on um, Wednesdays and Thursdays. And I'm always challenged with something fun. So I'll see you next time, tomorrow, same time. Everybody, please take care, be safe, and remember to please be kind. See you next time.